Hello again. Uh, today is Sunday, Sunday night, and I am doing another video update. So first of all, I got my room all put together, and I will sort of show you. It's kind of plain, but I put up my shelf, and it's pretty cool. Um, and it's a little bit more cleaner. That's my room. Yeah, it's kind of way cleaner than it was before when it was really, really unpacked and everything and messy. Um, so, anyways. So, on Wednesday, um, we did the all staff meeting. Um, which was really cool. I always love doing the um, Wednesday staff meetings because everybody's there and um, we get to worship with all the staff and we get to uh, learn what's happening at Bayside and everything like that. Um, and we also had our first internship meeting and it was a lot of fun actually. Um, we got to plan out our fall lunch um, for the junior high services and we came up with stuff like turtle racing, camel rides, just random crazy stuff. We also had some good stuff in there too but that's yeah that's all the crazy stuff. Um, and then some some people were thinking like skydiving I don't know it was weird. <laughs> and then later that night we had a parent meeting for all the junior high and club 56 kids parents um, and we did that at the north campus so we set up tables um, and made a room look kind of more presentable even though it's still um, really messy and like unpacked and everything um, and not remodeled because we just got the building um, but we made it look presentable and we gave them a tour um, of the north campus which is not built exactly yet um and it was funny because we kind of tricked them um and we we were in the little office area and we took them out into the office area and we'd be like this is the worship center and everybody was looking around like um wow this is really small and then we we're like okay now this is going to be the offices and we took them into the actual like really really big warehouse room um, that's going to be the actual North Campus, um, well, the temporary North Campus, but the stuff that they're going to be spending a lot of years in, um, and then they're more satisfied, I guess, <laughs> just because I don't think we'd be able to um, fit a lot of people in that tiny little thing that we said it was going to be the worship room. Um, and yeah, that was a lot of fun, only... Um, it took a lot of time to set up and take down, and I was so tired afterwards. <laughs> like, there was a lot of moving stuff, so um, I was really buff afterwards. Not really. Well, I don't know. I was really just really sorry. <laughs> and then um, Thursday, I um, we did our regular Thrive thing, um, school and whatnot, and then... After Thrive, I actually went with um, two of my friends to my one of my friend um, Faith's house, and we had dinner with her host home parents, and we also went swimming in the lake, which was a lot of fun because I had no swimsuit and nobody else had a swimsuit, but we just like all jumped in in our clothes because it was really hot outside. And it was a lot of fun. Seems like um, I haven't been swimming in my bathing suit in that lake. Ever. I've only been in my clothes. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And then I, we went to the shore right afterwards, which the shore is a college group. Um, and we were soaking wet, or at least I was soaking wet. <laughs> and I even put my clothes in the dryer, but they were still soaking wet. Um, and then after, after the shore, I just went home because I was really tired. And then um, Friday, I slept most of the day. Um, 
I went to the chiropractor, but then afterwards I still like I went back to sleep again. <laughs> I was just really tired and I actually got out of bed finally at like 5:30 at night, <laughs> which is intense. But then I went to um the Lounge of Life, which is a ministry that one of my friends puts on at the church and it's kind of like a club environment, but it's there's like no drinking and um no drugs, obviously. <laughs> but, um, sorry, I'm adjusting my computer. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Um, it was more fun than usual because there was break dancing. So people were doing dancing circles and people were really good at break dancing. Like, really good. Um, they were spinning on the ground and everything, like real break dancing. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, and I had a lot of my friends there. And then um, afterwards, we went, um, like, stargazing, but we also played uh, tag on the on the playground because um, we were at a park, and we played tag. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then I went to sleep at... <laughs> okay, so I went to sleep at 3.30 on Friday night because um, I slept all day on Friday, and I didn't go to sleep, and I was out really late. Because life ends at 12, and then we went stargazing afterwards, and then we didn't realize how late it was. Um, so I went to sleep at 3.30, and I woke up at 7 the next day because I had to be at church again for my internship. Um, and we were meeting with the uh, junior high pastors, um, and we were all learning how to become small group leaders. And it was really good, like a really good training. Um, and Bob Goff is just really amazing and really inspiring. Um, and then afterwards I went to Taco Bell to say hi to all my friends there, um, who I used to work with. And then after that, I had to be back at the church again for my internship. Um, and we were doing Club 56 stuff, which is fifth and sixth graders. And we basically, um, on Saturday, we just had to observe because, um, they want us to see what's uh, good and what's bad in that Club 56 and then to fix it. Uh, so it was it was interesting to just sit back and watch stuff. Um, and we were trying to make stuff better. So I suggest, suggested lighting. And um, yeah, a lot of the kids were distracted by the lighting. So we're trying to make it better. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, yeah, afterwards, um, I hung out with a couple friends that I haven't seen in a really long time. Because, yeah, they're not in Thrive. And it's a little bit sad because I don't really get to see them a lot. But, um, anyways, I hope Club 56 goes out really well. The little kids can be a little bit distracted by a lot of stuff, so... It's just basically um, a time of trying to get them not distracted and focused on God, which is hard. <laughs> uh, and then Sunday, um, which is today, uh, I slept until <laughs> one o'clock. I mean, like any time that I have to just to relax, I, I like to sleep because um, it's really important and I need to get refreshed. But I slept for like 13 hours. <laughs> But uh, we were supposed to go to a um, Bayside 101 class at 3 o'clock. And turns out it was canceled or, like, they got the dates wrong or something. But I still showed up at church thinking that I was there. And I was like, ah, oh, darn, because it's it was canceled. Um, so I was just sitting there waiting and, like, trying to find some friends to hang out with or something. Um I'm like, oh man, I have to stay here for like three hours or three or four hours until church starts. Um, but it was cool because uh, 
like, you know, God brings people together. Um, and if I wasn't there for, um, for that Bayside 101 class, and if it hadn't been canceled, I would have never met uh, this one person that I met today. And they were, uh, they haven't accepted God. And, um, and they've like been through like a crazy, crazy past. And they just happened to be at church, like trying to charge their cell phone and coming up or they came up and talked to me and they're like, can you watch my, can you watch my cell phone? So nobody steals it. I was like, okay. And, um, then they just started like a conversation with me and everything. And I was telling them about, um, church and all that stuff and kind of like witnessing to them. And they were really open to the idea of like coming to church every single week and, um, and basically renewing their life, um, because their life has been really bad and they are ready to accept Jesus. So I'm like, yay. Um, so I will be seeing them at the college group also on Thursday. And then they also want to go to the lounge of life on Friday. And then they want to go to church on Sunday. And it's really cool to see what God is doing in their lives already. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't get to say the prayer with them, like to ask Jesus into their life, but they're, um, they're definitely ready. And I think, I'm not sure if you have to say the prayer in order to have God into, like come up into your life, but, um, it seems like they really, really want God. Um, and yeah, <laughs> anyways, it's really, really cool. Um, and I'm really excited and I'm going to find them some friends, um, in church, uh, that can mentor them as well. Um, like guy friends that can mentor them since they're a guy, but then they also have a girlfriend, which I'm going to be mentoring because they're like, she needs Jesus. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Um, so that's really cool. And, and yeah, that's the good news for this week. And, um, Honestly, if I wasn't doing this Thrive thing, um, I probably wouldn't have had the courage to go and talk to them. So this um, this program is actually really helping, um, which isn't surprising, but, you know, it's really helping uh, change people's lives and change my life as well. Oh, and I forgot. Also, um, today we uh, had a mentor, well, we have a mentor group in Thrive and it's like all girls obviously um and we went to our first um little event thingy I guess after church tonight and um, we went to go get frozen yogurt and just um talk with each other and see who's in our group and everything and um sort of start bond bonding together and uh I think it's going to be really awesome because um we will get to share our stories and uh, grow as people together. So that should be awesome. Okay, I am going to go now because it's 13 minutes and I don't think you guys would like to listen to a whole long time of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night or good day or good morning, everybody.